Yo, I suggest if you haven't had this summer edition Red Bull, this Beach Breeze flavor in this beautiful blue can, uh, man, y'all should go try this because this shit hitting. But let's get into this Summer Kicks video. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DVK. So we'll be back with another, another video, man. I told you it was going to be coming back. And today I don't got any new sneakers, man, but we're going to talk some sneakers as usual. That's kind of like the whole point of this channel. Uh, so welcome to this channel, old subscribers, new subscribers, man. Thanks, everybody, for showing love. If you are new subscribers, please hit that red button, man. Like, comment. Please, hopefully, you guys stick around, man. Because without, without you guys, man, I can't grow and I can't prosper, man. We're on the road to 500, and we're looking real good right now, as I stated earlier. Um, I'm trying to hit 500 by the end of the month, but we're looking pretty good, man. So it might actually happen before that man and my ultimate goal is 1000 that's by the end of the year so without further ado let's get into the video pretty much i came up with a list of my top 10 sneakers for the summer that i recommend to you guys some of these sneakers are colorway specific uh some of them not so much but i tried to keep the list to where pretty much all these sneakers are accessible to the public you know easier shoes to get uh, I'm not gonna put something super rare in there because I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of this video and showing you guys what I feel like my top 10 for the summer is. As well, I was challenged to do a single for summer, basically five sneakers that I felt like were I'm gonna be adding into my rotation, undead stocking or, or whatever you wanna call it. I was challenged by Bobby Sneakers World, but to be honest, I couldn't come up with just 10 sneakers and um, I know I wanted to do a summer list for sure. So. Uh, within this 10, these 10 pairs, man, this is pretty much like, these are shoes that I recommend, not only recommend to you guys, but also be looking to undead sock and rock a lot this summer. So, we're going to run through this list real quick, uh, try not to drag it out too long. So, let's go ahead and get it to the video. Uh, yeah, there we go. The Air Jordan 1 Low, uh, and I feel like... This sneaker, I've talked about this shoe over and over. I've reviewed three different colorways, and I felt like not colorway specific on this one. The Air Jordan 1 Low, it's real light, comfortable sneaker. Nothing too crazy. Pretty low key. It's a low top, so it's really great for the summer. The price point is excellent, so I really recommend this sneaker for the summer. Um, you can pick these up in the black toe colorway, yellow, green, and some weird gum bottom looking pair. I have reviewed this sneaker. Uh, any of these sneakers I reviewed, I'll go ahead and link in my description if you have not checked that video out. And since we are already on the topic of Air Jordan 1s, the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the Crimson colorway, I think this shoe is fantastic for the summer. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. The colorway is perfect just for the summer. It's uh, black and coral face pretty much. and because it's black, a black base sneaker, I feel like it makes it really easy to wear. The Air Jordan 4 in the black cement or bread colorway. It's, it's the bread 4, black cement 4, whatever you want to call it. I mean, come on. Let's be real. It's all black, you know, Durabuck material, hits of red, gray. It goes with pretty much any outfit. And um, yeah, this was a must. Not only for the summer, this is a must, period. Uh, but these are going to be dope for the summer, man. So I recommend that if you didn't get a pair, resale prices still aren't too bad. I already said, don't pay resale. But, you know, some people are lazy and they don't put in the work. I definitely recommend this shoe for the summer. Now we're going to move into some of my Nike sneakers. The Air Max 1. This is the University Red colorway. Uh, I recommend just any colorway of the Air Max 1. It's fantastic for the summer. This one's really good. It, it's cheap, you know, classic shoe. Not too much to say about it. It's a cheap classic sneaker. And it's an Air Max 1, man. One of my favorites. So I definitely recommend this sneaker for the summer. The Nike React Element 87 or 55. I do not have any 55s in my collection. But basically, the React Element... There we go. The, React, the Nike React Element 55, the only difference is uh, the 87 has a translucent upper. The 55, it's like a mesh or a nylon or whatever. And um, 
super light sneaker react cushion is amazing if you haven't worn it yet i've worn these a good amount of times but i'm definitely gonna be looking into pulling these out a little bit more because i didn't wear them enough man extremely comfortable extremely light and uh at that for the 87 retails at 160 dollars the 55 retails at like 130 and you can get some of them on sale so i would definitely to be honest i would go with the 55 there's nothing wrong with it and I've actually heard that the 55 is more comfortable due to the upper not being translucent, this type of TPU or not TPU, this plastic material. So the Nike React Element 87 or 55, go get you a pair. You can't mention Adidas, you can't mention Summer without mentioning the Adidas Ultra Boost, man. Uh, this is one of the 1.0 OG colorways and the cream color. I love this colorway. Um, not colorway specific that I'm recommending to you guys, but the Ultra Boost, uh, the three, the 4.0s and all that stuff is in the stores right now, and they're kind of weeding these out. So you can actually get these on sale for probably like 130, 120, uh, really good prices. And now they're rolling out the Ultra Boost 19. I don't have that pair, but it's pretty much the same. But you got 20% more boost, so you got more boost in the heel. So if you guys have the extra cash, the Ultra Boost 19, it, although it does not look as well, it's supposedly more comfortable. But you can't go wrong with a boost sneaker either way. Bam! Uh, one of my favorites from the year. So here we have the Yeezy Boost 700 in the Inertia colorway. Uh, for me, on this list, this is colorway specific. You have like this bluish gray hits. You got this peach on the heel, cream bottom, the white boost peeking through. This isn't a review, I'm sorry. Uh, the 700 is extremely comfortable. And the reason why I picked the 700 over the 350, and that's because number one, I like the three, the 700 over the 350. Number two, all of these do cost a lot more. They are way more accessible than the 350. You could probably go in some of your boutiques and I bet you could still find maybe not this colorway, but maybe the new analog colorway that came out. So I definitely recommend the 700 for the summer. They're pretty light. The only, the only downfall with the 700 is they're so padded that uh, they get kind of hot, but they're still really light and comfortable at the same time. It's a low top sneaker, having some ankle socks and some nice uh, shorts or some nice denim at nighttime, man. And you are good to go. The Vans Old School Low. I definitely recommend this colorway for the summer. I mean, why not? Check it out, man. You got uh, hits of royal blue, green, white, mustard yellow, red on the tongue, and that classic waffle bottom. How could you deny that? Uh, your Vans, your Vans Old School Lows are available in plenty of stores. This colorway, I'm not sure where you can get them at. I know Journey's had them. That's where I got mine, but they restock all the time. And you can also check Foot Locker as well. And if not, man, they're probably on StockX for the low low. I definitely recommend this colorway for the summer. It's just an amazing colorway, easy shoe to wear. You can get it dirty and it still looks dope in my opinion. So I recommend this colorway or the classic all black and white that goes with absolutely everything. My wife wears those so much. <laughs> But uh, this is one of my favorite vans that I own. Bam! Next on the list, the New Balance 990 V5. So they are they have recently rolled out the 990 V5. A uh, few different switches and changes from the V4. I've been wearing this shoe for about two weeks now, and they are so comfortable, man. I actually love this shoe. It's kind of long, those dad, those dad shoe vibes or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. The shoe is classic. It still looks classic. And it looks good with almost anything that you wear. It's very light. Uh, you can find these in stores now. And the mesh on the toe box, man, I'm telling you, when the wind hits in this stuff, yo, your toes just be breathing nice, yo. The wind be coming through and everything, man. <laughs> but for real, these are dope, man. I like I like the 990 V5. Hopefully, they push out more colorways. But uh, this shoe, you can find these in pretty much any store now. Nonetheless, I definitely recommend the New Balance 990 V5. I had to save this shoe for last, man, because I feel like all the real ones know. And it's crazy because on this entire list, as I'm looking on the floor right now, this was actually one of the hardest shoes for me to get recently. I just picked it up today. And for some reason, I couldn't find it anywhere. I called so many stores. I gave up. 
happened to be out today. I had to go run some errands, and I was like, hmm, let me just check. And they had them. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> so let's get into it. You guys will understand why I saved this one for last. That Nike Air Force One low all white cocaines uptowns so whatever you want to call it i mean come on this is the nike air force one it's all white reason why i say it was the hardest shoe for me to get because it's summertime and everybody is buying them like at one point Foot locker was pretty much sold out in my size so i picked these up today man this is the all white air force one you can't go wrong and i'm so happy i got them because i haven't bought a pair and so long and it's one of those shoes that you can get every year you buy two or three of them at a time and you just save them for like that next summer because we all know uh, once you start rocking these too much and they get too dirty this all white is never coming back especially this midsole so I had to get these for the summer I'm definitely gonna be putting in some miles on these for the summer man so thank God I was able to get them and like, why the hell don't they have these oh yeah it's summertime everybody wants to wear the all whites so uh, of course, this is colorway specific, the Nike Air Force One, all white. There you have it, guys. That is my top 10 sneakers for the summer. Um, some of them colorway specific, some of them not. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Is there any sneakers you would change, any sneakers you would add? Do you think the list is trash? Do you think it's a dope list? I think it's a pretty good list. It's well-rounded, and it's all these sneakers are sneakers that you can walk in the store and pretty much get if you look hard enough. So... Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Um, I had a lot of I had a lot of fun making this video, man, because it made me pull some things out. And I'm like, you know what? I need to I need to really rock these. I'm gonna twist it up a little bit. So if I had one more shoe to add to this list, uh, this is just for me personally that I know I'm gonna be putting in some miles in this summer. You guys might already know if you watched the review. But I'm gonna show you guys anyways. The Air Jordan 1 Union in the Storm Blue colorway. Uh, of course, you can't just walk in the store and get these. This is just personally for myself, something that I am ready to just put miles on for the entire summer. When I have my shoes already like unlaced like this and ready to go, that means they're getting rocked soon. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to breaking these out for the summer. And so uh, I appreciate you guys for rocking with me, man. I really do. I love doing this. I love talking sneakers. Thank you guys for watching. We out.